Please all stand and let us pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against the COVID-19. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All together, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health and mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We plight to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Nuestra Señora de Guía, Pray for us. Our Lady, Help of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Saturday. We celebrate the memorial of St. Josaphat, Bishop and Martyr. Please welcome our Mass Presider, Reverend Father Danichi Wi. Those who trust 
We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled Saint Joseph as he laid down his life for the sheep, so that through his intercession, we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and do not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the third letter of St. John. Beloved, you are faithful in all you do for the brothers and sisters, especially for strangers. They have testified to your love before the church. Please help them in a way worthy of God to continue their journey, for they have set out for the sake of the name, and are accepting nothing from the pagans. Therefore, we ought to support such persons, so that we may be co-workers in the truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a, judge, a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, While it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge say. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. God is a God of justice. Sabihin niyo nga po, justice. Ang Diyos ay Diyos ng katarungan. This is what our gospel would want to remind those people who are asking something to God. Sa mga mayroon pong hinihingi, mayroong dinadasal o hinihiling sa Diyos para po ito sa inyo. And Jesus used a parable of a widow. A widow who keeps on asking the judge for justice against her adversary. And Jesus used this to emphasize that God is just. May isa raw balo. Isang balong balik ng balik sa isang hukom upang hingin ang katarungan. Nung panahon ni Jesus, ang balo ay isa sa mga pinakakawawang uri ng tao. Pinakakawawa dahil bukod sa siya ay walang asawa. Balo nga eh, no? Walang asawa. Ang balo noon, hindi pwedeng magtrabaho. Walang kabuhayan dahil lalaki lang ang pwedeng magtrabaho noon. At lalaki lang ang binibilang sa lipunan. Kaya nga nakakaawa kasi wala nang asawang lalaki ang balo na pwedeng magtrabaho para sa kanya. Wala na siyang kabuhayan. At dahil babae, hindi kabilang sa lipunan. Hindi binibilang sa lipunan. Kaya isa ang mga balo sa mga nakakaawang uri ng tao noon, bukod sa mga may sakit. No po? Ganyan nakakaawa ang isang balo. Pero pansinin natin, kahit siya ay nakakaawa, obviously, 
kailangan ng tulong. Ang hinihingi lang ng balo ay kung ano ang makatarungan. She is asking what is just. Kaya nga po sa mga humihingi dyan, no? kung meron kang dinadasal, meron kang hinihingi, nire-reklamo o nilalapit sa Diyos, ah, tingnan mo muna ang iyong sarili. Nakakaawa ka ba talaga? Nangangailangan ka ba talaga? O gusto mo lang? May mahiya tayo dun sa isang balo. Kaya, sa kakabalik-balik, ng balo, ibinigay sa kanya ng hukom kung ano ang makatarungan. Ibinigay ng hukom dahil siya ay nakukulitan. Magandang pagnilaya natin po ito bago tayo humingi ng humingi sa Diyos. Bago tayo magreklamo ng magreklamo sa Diyos. Una, nangangailangan ba talaga tayo o hinihingi lang natin kung ano ang ating gusto. Pangalawa, makatarungan ba ang ating hinihingi? O baka naman higit pa sa sobra? Madalas kasi, grabe din tayo makahingi. Humihingi tayo ng yaman, pero ayaw naman nating magtrabaho o ayaw nating mahirapan. Gusto na lang tumama sa loto. Gusto na lang umulan ng pera. Gusto na lang dumating ang swerte. Gustong pumasa sa board exam. Oh, meron po ba nag magte-take ng board exam? Oh, gustong pumasa sa board exam ang sipag magsimba. Pero noong nag-aaral nung college, hindi pala pasok. Pwede bang maging professional yung ganun? Nagdadasal ng kailangan o nagdadasal ng kagalingan pero pabaya naman sa katawan. Ayaw magtimpe sa pagkain. May sakit na, bisyo pa rin ang bisyo. Kaya madalang maganda, no? Tignan natin yung ating mga hinihingi sa Diyos. Makatarungan ba tayo? Kasi makatarungan ng Diyos, ibibigay kung ano lang ang makatarungan. Mga kapatid, tandaan, ang Diyos ay Diyos ng katarungan. Ibibigay hindi ang ating kagustuhan. Kaya bago tayo humingi, suriin ang sarili. Ito ba talaga ay ating kailangan? O baka naman, gusto mo lang. Amen. Please all stand. We may pray unceasingly and never lose heart. Our God will see justice done to His chosen ones who cry out to Him day and night. Encouraged by His teaching of our Lord, let us come to the Father with our intercessions and say, Father, listen to our prayers. Father, listen to our prayers. That the Church through its ministers, may persevere amidst all her trials and tribulations and never lose confidence in proclaiming the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. That those who are discouraged and are tempted to give up the struggle in leading a good life may find new inspiration in the faithfulness of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. That those who find praying difficult may grow in fervor 
and make room for God in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. That the sick may persevere in their sufferings and never lose heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. That the dead may receive the heavenly reward for their perseverance on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. In silence, we bring to God our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. Heavenly Father, we entrust our needs to you. Show us the way to pray unceasingly so that we may always be united to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that St. Joseph professed by, by the shedding of his blood. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours. Through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth Sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for mercy and for all, for the forgiveness which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Josephat, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Josephat's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel and let us pray the filial homage to Nuestra Señora de Guía. All together, I revere thee with all my heart, most holy virgin, above all the angels and saints of heaven. And I consecrate to thee my soul with all its faculties, my body with all its senses, and my heart with all its affliction, praying that thou wilt obtain for me from the blessed Trinity all the graces I need for salvation. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O peerless lady, how wretched and paltry is our gratitude beside the infinite graciousness. How kind and go thou heart, O lady, to us, the children of Adam, as a generous dispenser of all divine graces, what have we not received from thy tender and merciful heart? This very land owes its happiness to the presence of thy holy image, which has drawn to us all the favors which we unceasingly receive from God. Thy image is for us a loving proof of thy mother's love and affection, as well as a shining mirror where we can glimpse thy most admirable virtues. Be always our guide, O Mary, our model, our help and succor. And although we are miserable sinners, turn not away from us thy motherly heart. Do not allow this land to ever forget thee. And as long as one of us shall remain to invoke thy sweet name, O Mary, Show thyself always, our most tender mother, our steadfast advocate, our safe refuge, and most loving guide. Amen. Mary, Mary our guide, show your mother love and pity upon us. Nuestra Señora de Guía, pray for us. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. My isang ila lalagati ng pag Saya kung may hapis Sa paglalagpay Siya'y gumagabay Sa ating pag-uwi May awit siyang hati Tanglaw ka namin Kaming nasa din At kung may ulos Yung iyakapangangkin Sugat namin ay Magkapagalingin Turo magdabay Aming pangatalim Nuestra Senyora Tegnea Pinang silin Sinta inang binarangan, Nuestra Señora de Guía, Dinginda Sala.